Hello. Well, uh, uh, yeah, I hope I didn't wake you up. Listen, I think I'll have my breakfast a little early. I couldn't sleep at all last night. Listen, once I'm dressed, I'm going to have the whole rest of the day off. David Stool's going to drive me to the Freedom Medical Center. Well, all right. I'll be right up. Smells delicious. Sausage and eggs and potatoes. Mmm. Well, why don't you just come back in about ten minutes and I'll be ready to get dressed. Oh, I wish I had time to do my hair today. It, I don't know. How do I look? Because I feel like I'm wearing my denim suit. Alright, well, time to get dressed. Whoopsie daisy. Here, here we go. <laughs> oh, bear. I can't wait to see David. Downtown Flower and Gift. This is Leslie. How may I help you? Leslie? Is this Leslie Crenshaw? Yes, this is Leslie Crenshaw. Uh, Mr. Mr. Devereaux? Is that you? Big Red, what are you doing over at the Downtown Flower and Gift? Sorry, did the cannery not work out? Oh, no, Mr. Devereaux. Things were... Fine at the cannery. I just needed a change, is all. Now, no. now I work here at the Downtown Flower and Gift. Oh, oh Red, listen, Red, I need to order some flowers for Mrs. Devereaux. I'll let you pick them out something big, not too showy. You know what she likes. And on the card, I'd like you to write, Darling, stuck in Geneva for another week, so sorry. Dinner at the Elkhorn Room when I return. Missing you, Dickie. Got that, Leslie? Yes, I got that, Mr. Devereaux. Oh, good job, Red. Just put it on my account, please. And, Leslie, I'm glad to hear you're not in that smelly old cannery anymore. You're far too pretty for that. Thanks, Leslie. Goodbye. Goodbye, Mr. Devereaux. Red! Oh, Leslie! Oh, you're looking so nice these days. Did someone give you some flowers? They're beautiful. Oh, no, Mrs. Garner. Oh. I'm delivering these to Mrs. Devereaux on the 12th floor. I work at the Downtown Flower and Gift now. Good for you, Leslie. Mm, flowers for Mrs. Devereaux, huh? Must mean Mr. Devereaux is not going to make it home this week. So, have you met David Stool? I gave Bear the rest of the day off. David is going to drive me to my appointment at the Freedom Medical Center. Yes, I have an appointment with your sister, Dr. Tracy Crenshaw. Oh... Well, guess we should be running along now, Leslie. It was sure nice to see you. It was nice to see you too, Mrs. Gardner. And nice to meet you, Mr. Stool. Goodbye. Hi, Penny. I have a delivery for Mrs. Devereaux. <laughs> and guess what? I heard that if you put an aspirin in that water, 
it will make the flowers last longer. Hey, I ran into Gail Gardner down in the lobby. And she was with that creepy drifter guy that I have been hearing about. His name is David Stuhl. She actually gave Bear the whole day off so this Stuhl guy could drive her to her appointment at the Freedom Medical Center today. You know, she never goes anywhere without Bear. Oh well. Hey, I have to get back to the flower shop, but it was so nice talking to you. And I hope I see you at the Sweet Shack on Friday. Bye.